thank you for joining me. Do you mind introducing yourself and your role, please? Absolutely. Pleasure to be here. I'm Nicola Rimasi. I am the president and CEO of INQ. And for those that aren't aware of your business, what you do, who you are, can you give us a brief overview of yeah, your business, please? So INQ is the, we like to say, the 800-pound gorilla of the quantum space. We are a publicly traded company on the NYSE. We were the first player to IPO, and we are the largest by market cap, revenue, balance sheet, however you want to measure it. Uh, we're the only company in the world that does both quantum computing and quantum networking. And both of them are kind of equally large and important pieces of our business. Well, quantum is obviously a massive talking point at the moment, not just here at London Tech Week, but across the technology space. What's exciting you the most about working in the quantum space at this moment in time? Well, we're at this inflection point where we're just starting to do really powerful, useful stuff for enterprise applications and companies. So yesterday we announced a 20x speed up with AstraZeneca in partnership with NVIDIA and, and Amazon AWS. That is a classical and quantum outcome, but it really is game changing. If something can happen in, in days instead of months, right? And we're just getting started here with our you know, 36 qubit system where we know we're going to take that from 36 qubits to millions of qubits in the next three to five years. So huge power is coming. Many, many different verticals will be positively impacted. I'd like to say there's almost no part of applied science that won't be positively impacted by our quantum computers. That's fantastic to hear, and long may that continue. Obviously, you mentioned some of the people you're partnering with, NVIDIA are one, AstraZeneca are another. How important do you think it is in the tech space, specifically in quantum too, that there is that kind of cross-company, public and private too, collaboration to make good things like this happen? No, spot on. I mean, I, I like to say that I'm in the business of building the strongest, deepest, and broadest ecosystem. And that's why we do quantum networking and quantum computing. It's why we have many global offices, and it's why we partner in each, frankly, geography, continent, territory, with public and private players, as you said. It's really important that people learn on our quantum systems and stay on them. And so whenever we find a partner, customer, counterparty, no matter where we start, whether it's networking or computing, we always look to, of course, land and expand. And we want them to, you know, as Steve Jobs used to say, learn on a Mac, stay on a Mac. We want them to learn on INQ, build business on INQ, solve the world's most challenging problems at INQ, and really make a tremendous impact uh, you know, positive in the world using our systems. And with that being said, and with this being a really fast moving space, is there anything in particular you're looking forward to or hoping to happen in the realm of quantum? Well, yesterday we announced the acquisition of Oxford Ionics, right? So this is the largest acquisition or merger in the quantum space ever to date. It's a really important transaction, not just for INQ, but for I would say the US and UK transatlantic alliance. So both Octronics and INQ are the leading ion trap quantum computing companies in the world. We've known each other from afar for a long time. Um, we both do work for national security agencies on both sides of the Atlantic. Uh, and together we're stronger. And so our message at London Tech Week is, this is a huge endorsement of the Oxford talent pool. It's a huge endorsement of kind of the Oxford Cambridge Triangle. It's a big investment for us in the UK. We view this as a merger. Um, you know, this is a bet the company transaction for INQ because we only have about a $10 billion market cap. Uh, so a billion dollar deal really is a game changer for us. We're not yet NVIDIA sized or Qualcomm sized. We hope that together INQ and Oxford you know, will, will be a business that, that size in coming years when we come back to London Tech Week. Jensen, watch this space. Um, exactly. And last but not least, you mentioned we're here, obviously, at London Tech Week. You've got an iconic London bus behind you there. <laughs> How important is it to be at events like this when we're talking about the likes of quantum AI, creating a forum for all of this to happen? How important is it for you guys to be in the room where it happens? No, no, I mean, we like to think that we also have the room where it happens. Oh, absolutely. It's not, it's not <laughs> only here, right? But, but at the end of the day, um, if I think about where INQ was at the IPO five years ago, quantum was, you know, it was, I would say a little bit of a curiosity. Today it's become a mainstream event and every you know, FTSE 100, Fortune 500 CEO has a quantum strategy. And we've we made huge progress in the last five years. The next three to five years, I think we'll make even more progress because one of the things that's poorly understood about quantum computing is we're not like classical computing where you double every Moore's law every 18 months. With quantum, we're doubling every qubit that we add. Right? And so the difference between systems for us, it's not a factor of two, it could be a factor of 200 million. Right? And so this inflection point where we're starting useful stuff will just become 
doubly exponentially more powerful every time we come back and see you. And what did Jensen say yesterday in his opening speech? It's about getting on that spaceship, because if not, you get completely left behind. So thank you so much. Well said, well said. Is there anything else that you'd like to say before I kind of take that mic off you? No, we're delighted to be here. I'm a bit, having gone to Cambridge University myself, I'm sort of an honorary Brit, as I think of myself. And I'm a big believer in the talent pool here. You know, we're going to grow our, our office here and investment here. Um, and because of this fantastic merger, we really think that Oxfordionics plus INQ now is cl the clear leader in the quantum computing and networking space on a global basis. Um, and so great things are going to happen here. Watch this space. Watch this space with INQ. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much.